Fox Sports Southwest hired former NFL running back Craig James in late August as an on-air analyst. A few days later, the network fired him. That after statements he made last year resurfaced. At the time, James was running for U.S. Senate in Texas. Speaking at a campaign stop, he opened up about his religious beliefs on homosexuality and gay marriage. Those beliefs, he says, are what got him fired. One statement from Fox Sports seems to confirm that. Another contradictory statement says James was let go because he wasn't a good fit for the position. Now James is pursuing legal action against the network. And Craig James joins us now from our D.C. Bureau to talk about his situation. Craig, what exactly happened between you and Fox Sports? Well, Mark, uh, thanks for having me, first of all. Um, it was a very brief tenure, I would say, at Fox Sports. They called me and said they had a show on Saturday night. Would you like to do it? And I said, absolutely. They issued the press release that said they were looking forward to having my talents and me on the show with them. Uh, they'd followed me. It was a very nice, complimentary press release. The next night I did the show. The following night, I get a phone call that it's over with at Fox Sports out in California was no longer going to allow this to happen. And then the next day I come to find out it's because of some comments that I had made in answering a, a, in a candidate debate what the definition of marriage was. And I think it's between a man and a woman. Well, that's why I was fired. They told the Dallas Morning News that those comments in that position would not work in their HR department. So I'm being punished for my biblical beliefs. Well, what do you hope to gain from taking a stand against the network? Well, first of all, they got to admit what they did was wrong. And I also hope, most importantly on this thing, that people realize that it's not about me, Craig James. It's about an American who was fired for his religious beliefs in the United States of America. That's what I'm hopeful, that people will stand up and be heard. Because, Mark, right now, the other side is being heard. And I hope that all who enjoy their religious liberties and their freedoms, whatever their faith is, that they stand boldly and passionately and be heard. If we don't do that, the slope that we're on right now in this country is going to become so dramatic that we won't be able to overcome it. Do you feel like this is a spiritual battle, Craig? I, what, what else could it be, Mark? It has to be. And, and, you know, I've had a faith my entire life. I love my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I've never hidden from that. I've always been out there with it. I've been in broadcast television for over 20 years, and it was never an issue. I was an athlete in a locker room with a lot of different backgrounds of people. That was never an issue. So all of a sudden now, because of an answer that I gave and a belief that I have, not my belief, it's what God says. And Mark, I've said many times, I want to be biblically correct, not politically correct. And that's okay. It's okay to have that belief. And so that's why I'm fighting for this. Well, Craig, have you heard back from Fox Sports yet? No, we haven't. It's like the old cricket sound in the house here. But uh, I have uh, engaged at Liberty Institute. They are representing me, and uh, we are going to be bold and strong. They punched me in the face. I'm not going away on this thing. I'm going to be loud and boisterous. If those are out there who are interested in following along, go to libertyinstitute.org. You can see what we're trying to accomplish, how we're going about our mission. Uh, but we have to stand and be heard on this and not let it slip and go underneath the rug. All right, former NFL running back and sports broadcaster Craig James. Craig, thanks for your time. We appreciate your boldness.